Have you ever wondered how those massive ships gracefully glide across the ocean? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of ship propulsion and movement. At its core, ship movement relies on a powerful propulsion system. Let's explore how it all works. The unsung heroes of ship movement are often the propellers. These rotating blades are essential for pushing water backward, propelling the ship forward. Propellers work by creating a pressure difference in the water. As they spin, they accelerate water backward, and according to Newton's third law, an equal and opposite force pushes the ship forward. This is thrust. There are various types of propellers, including fixed pitch propellers for consistent speed and controllable pitch propellers that allow for changes in direction and speed without altering engine RPM. But what powers these propellers? Let's delve into the heart of the ship, its engines and power generation. Most modern ships use powerful diesel engines. These engines burn fuel to create rotational energy, which is then transferred to the propellers. Historically, steam engines were common. Today, some specialized vessels use electric propulsion or even nuclear power, offering different advantages in efficiency and range. Moving forward is one thing, but how do ships navigate through tight spaces or change direction? That's where steering and maneuverability come in. The primary steering mechanism for most ships is the rudder. Located at the stern, the rudder deflects the flow of water, creating a force that turns the ship. For precise movements, especially in harbors, ships use thrusters. These small propellers, often located at the bow and stern, allow the ship to move sideways without forward momentum. The shape of a ship's hull plays a critical role in its movement, affecting everything from speed to fuel efficiency. Hydrodynamics is the study of how water interacts with moving objects. Ship hulls are designed to minimize resistance, allowing them to glide through the water with greater ease. Water resistance, or drag, is a constant force opposing a ship's movement. Engineers constantly refine hull designs to reduce this resistance, making ships more efficient. Once a ship reaches its destination, how does it stay put? This involves anchoring and mooring techniques. Anchors dig into the seabed, providing a secure hold against currents and wind. Mooring lines are used to secure the ship to a dock or buoy. Different types of anchors are used depending on the seabed, while robust mooring lines connect the ship to the shore, preventing it from drifting. So there you have it, a quick dive into the captivating world of how ships move. From the powerful thrust of propellers to the precise control of rudders and the efficiency of hull design, every element plays a crucial role. It's a testament to incredible engineering and a reminder of humanity's ingenuity in conquering the seas. Thank you for watching.